Hey guys, what I'd like to do in this video is talk about being productive during the coronavirus pandemic. But before I talk about that, I'd just like to say, welcome to Online Ventures. Online Ventures is the new name for this YouTube channel. Previously, this YouTube channel was called Kev's Crypto Channel. That's maybe how you know it already, because my name is Kevin and I focused on cryptocurrency. I spent about three seconds thinking about that name before. But moving forward, I will be talking about a lot of different subjects. About three or four weeks ago, I published a video and I asked all of you for suggestions for a new name for this channel. And I got a lot of good feedback through YouTube, through Facebook, Twitter, even through my website as well. I got a few emails as well. But the best suggestion that I saw came from the YouTube user, Captain Happy, who said online ventures. He also said Kevin's adventures, but I think that makes me sound like a pirate. I think online ventures sounds great. I think it encompasses everything that I'm planning on doing on this channel. I'll be sharing my experiences of working online, of making money through the internet, of working on websites, of working on my YouTube channels, sharing the products and services that I use, and just generally talk about my journey working online. So yes, it's official. It's now called Online Ventures. So back to the topic, back to the main topic here being productive during the coronavirus pandemic. It seems a little bit strange to even bring this up. It sound, sounds silly to even talk about being productive during this because 2020 has been a, a bizarre year. It's been a horrible year. I think we've all been affected by this negatively. We've lost someone. We've, we know people that have been hospital with the coronavirus. Some of you might have lost jobs as well. And it seems silly to talk about being productive, but I do think there's a lot of people that are missing an opportunity here to improve their position in life a few years down the line. Now, there are some people where the life, their life has not really been as affected by the coronavirus. I could maybe put myself there because I've still been working. I've actually been working more during the coronavirus because I can't get to the gym and go to other things I would normally go to. And as people that still work, you know, in hospitals and policemen and things like that, they still have to work like they, like they would have been working. On the other side of the coin, there's people that have lost their job and there's people that don't have a job any anymore because they were contracting, the contract finished and now they've found themselves in a position where, you know, there's nothing to do. But there are people that are fortunate. There are people, certainly here in the UK that I know, that are being paid by the employers to sit at home and do nothing. They might have reduced hours. Some of them have been told not to work at all. But they're in a fortunate position where their bills are being paid, their mortgage is being paid, their electricity is being paid, and they have all this free time in their hand. Now, I'm not saying it's it's amazing to sit at home. I realize a lot of people don't enjoy that, but this is a good time to be productive. Now, I am someone that has to be productive. I'm self-employed through the internet. I make my living through the internet. I can't rely on someone else giving me money. I need to go out and make it myself. And I was directly affected by this because about two weeks ago or so, two and a half weeks ago, I caught the COVID-19, I caught the coronavirus. So it happened on like a Sunday, I think. It, I woke up, it felt like I'd been punched in the head. I had a terrible fever. I had heartburn. I just felt terrible. I actually collapsed. My girlfriend had to wake me up. I'd collapsed because of the fever. After about four or five days, I felt okay. I spent about four days in bed. But after that, I felt great, if I'm honest. But I was just tired. And that was something that affected me because I'm so used to being, well, trying to be productive. Last week, for example, I think I only had about two hours of work. I was writing for two hours or making a video for two hours and I had to stop because I did not have the energy. Now, if you have been unwell, I'm not saying that you should be productive. I think that was a time for me to reflect that there is a time to step back and relax. And that's one of the kind of side benefits of the coronavirus. I think a lot of people have realized the importance of health, of family, of friends. And I would always put health and family and friends above money. But there's a lot of people wasting their time here. There are a lot of people wasting their time and they're in a good position and they're wasting their time. I've got friends that have been paid to basically sit at home and they're either playing games all day or they're drinking all the time or they're just having fun and they're not doing anything about it. But the reality is, is that the next few years, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty in the market. They're already talking about the housing market crashing by 20 or 30%. They're already, they're already talking about the fact that there's a lot of jobs today that won't exist in one year or two years or three years. I've got no doubt about that in my mind as well because this pandemic has showed a lot of companies that they can operate on a skeleton staff. 
So maybe there's companies out there that have realized they can make perhaps 90% of their money with 10 employees rather than with 20 employees. So there's going to be a lot of you, and that's the sad reality. There's going to be a lot of you that perhaps you're fortunate just now to have a, a job, but in a few years' time, the situation might not be as good. Certainly during a recession, the job market becomes a lot more competitive. So there might be hundreds of people going for a job instead of just you know 10 or 20. So how do you put yourself in a good position for this uncertainty moving forward? And there's no guarantee that doing anything just now will help you later as far as what you do just now. But I think most people would agree that when it comes to your CV or when it comes to making money, it's best not to put all your eggs in one basket. You should really be using this time to be productive and do something. And it doesn't have to be on the internet. You could, for example, learn a new skill. You could learn a new language. You could do an online course and get a certificate in something. Sit at home and just do some exams online and get certificates that will maybe open up your career in a different direction. Certainly with what I do online on the internet, there has never been a better time to make money on the internet. I can't think of any time that's been easier to, to make money on the internet, never. You can set up a website today using a website builder in minutes, a professional website in minutes. That's how easy it is. And you don't need to know how to code and you don't need to know how to design. 20 years ago when I was building my first website, like 1999, 2000, I would spend weeks coding things in Notepad and the end result was a terrible <laughs> looking website. It was, the website looked terrible. Don't get me wrong, that was the kind of building blocks for my online career, but there's no way getting around it. It's so much easier to make money on the internet now. There's so much more money flowing through the internet as well. So be productive with your time. Go out there, learn a new skill, do something to enhance your CV or put yourself in a better position for a job six months from now, a year from now, two years from now. And if you do decide to do something online, put everything into it, spend some time doing it. Even if it's only two hours a day, put some time into it to make some money or at least learn the skills in order to make money, whether it be starting a, a, a new website, starting a business, launching a YouTube channel, do something and start learning about how you can make money through the internet or just learn a new skill. Because down the line, you might not have the time to do that. You might be in a position where you're stuck in a job that you hate and you don't have the time to do all the things that you could do just now. And moving forward, we're it's going to be very competitive in, in, in the market for jobs. But I know myself, if I ever had to take a full-time job and I had to go back into the rat race, as they call it, I'm sure I would enjoy the job if I took it. I'm sure I would put everything into it. But I would still have my websites and I would still have my YouTube channels. Put simply, I would not be putting all my eggs in one basket. I would continue to, not a word I normally use, but hustle. I would continue to have some sort of side project so that if I was in a position where someone says, you're fired, we can't employ you anymore, the contract's over. I'm like, okay, I've still got something to fall back on. And you might not build a, a website or a project or a, a YouTube channel or anything right now that will pay $50, $100, $200, whatever. That might not be enough to, to quit your job right now if you do make up just small amounts of money like that, but it's certainly going to help you down the line. So I hope you're all staying safe. That I mean, that first and foremost, look after yourself, look after your family. Stay safe, be sensible. But if, you've, if you're in a fortunate position to be paid, to not have to worry about money, use this opportunity to do something. Even if it's only a few hours today, learn a new skill, learn a language, learn a new instrument, do something with your time. Don't just sit and play games. And that's coming from someone that loves playing games. But be productive with your time, guys. Stay safe and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.